Don Hung, Danny Boy, our Butter Vision, Don Hung's trailer, the Imbibitor Lune, the Prodigal's Return. Let's do this. I knew it was coming out today. I was prepared. I I just kept the recording program open. We just finished stream. I knew it. I knew it. I think this character is extremely popular. I didn't realize how popular Don Hung was until they announced a five-star version of him. And I think it also goes in tandem with how him and Blade are intertwined as characters. I think the, uh, you know, the, the shippers may have a thing to do with his popularity. But, you know, Don Hung's an amazing character and we love him nonetheless. I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. This could convince me to roll for him. Uh, right now, I am on the fence. But depending on how awesome this trailer is, I could very easily add him into my roster. Even though I just don't have the resources to build another character right now. But no use in stalling any longer. Let's just hop right into it, gamers. Oh, I'm so excited. A scion what? of permanence. Oh, they just started. Barbara Lune, successor of the Azure Dragon, Ooh. commander God, I love of the, the clouds colors. and the rain, tasked with watching over the Ambrosial Arbor. In reckless arrogance, invoked the transmutation Arcanum. What? That wait, that's what he did. Guilty of unpardonable sins, punishable by death. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> I got this music. Oh, that was gorgeous. Oh, that was gorgeous. Fantilia, if you wish to obstruct me, you'll have to do better. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. I need to go back for a second. The animation sequence. Can we all just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful that is? Like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Just, like, with the, this? You have to do better. The, like, I'm pretty sure this is actually in, uh, in 3D. Oh my god, this is, this is, like, amazing looking. I also really, really, really enjoy his color palette. I, I've been saying this. This version of Danny and Bibiter Lune genuinely feels like a homage to Azure Imperia from Honkai Impact 3, which is a Fuhua skin. I will have it right there on the screen so you guys can understand what I'm talking about if you don't play Honkai Impact. But it's super reminiscent. They both have the yin and yang themes, and they both have a lot of ink as well in their movesets. So I think they're actually, I think it's pretty much a homage to it. I don't know if they've ever like flat out said it, but I, I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my god, he looks so good there. Ah, Danshu. Celestial Dragon. Break. Oh, I kind of wanted him. Wait, he still says break. I kind of wanted him to really, like, you know, scream the break. You know, like, this world is but a vision. Break. I, I kind of wanted him. I wanted him to say break, like, in that tone. When he said this, break. break like that, you know. So, oh my God, it's only a high. Redemption Hi. in your grasp. Okay, I need to not simp for Fantilia when we're watching a Don Hung thing, but I love Fantilia so much. I stand here to fight for a new life. He just wants Delphine to live his new life. World cleansing dragon. think you have a choice this time this is so beautiful i'm waiting don't keep her waiting danny don't keep her waiting oh my god that was gorgeous <laughs> that was just flat out beautiful holy I might have to pull for Imbibitor Lune. No, no, chat, tell me no down below, please. I'd be like, Mina, you don't need it. Mina, you, you, you spent too much money on Kafka. Maybe maybe you should skip this banner and save for Fushuen. 
Like, I, I need, I need to, I need you guys to keep me strong in the comments down below. But let me know if you're pulling for him. I'm actually very curious. I want to know how many people are gonna try and get uh, Mr. Danny 2.0, or as I like to call him, Fancy Danny. We got a lot of lore. I feel like we got, we got a few lore bombs in there as well. We, we're gonna figure out like probably the more specifics as to why he got banished. They said like pretty much the overall cause, but I, I want, I want the more, I want the more nitty gritty. And I also wonder how uh, Don Hung is going to to play a role in the epilogue of the Lofu, since that is the next arc that we're getting in 1.3. So I'm really, really, really curious as to how they're going to tie up the loose ends, because I don't think we truly have an ending just yet, or at least in sight. My predictions for the future is that we're going to leave the Lofu, and we're most likely going to have to come back, because there's so many unresolved like ties within the region. Like, Fantilli is still alive. We haven't even gotten to, like, the end of, like, anything. I'm pretty sure Jingyuan's dying at some point. Um, where's Tingyan? We, she, you know, her neck snapped and we haven't seen her since. There's so much that hasn't been closed. And so I hope they either tie up the loose ends in this next update or we leave. And because we leave, we're at some point going to be forced to come back to resolve the issues. I think that'd be pretty, pretty darn interesting at least. But yeah, I'm, I'm extremely excited for, for this new update and for Don Hung. I know that we are also getting an, anim, uh, an animation on August 29th. So you guys can look out for a video reaction to that as well. Make sure to comment, leave a like and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on the updates. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.